Hey, what's up, Grace House Churches? It is the week of July 28th. I want to welcome you to the weekly. Uh, this week we talked about out of Hebrews 3 again, but we address verses 12 through 19, really focusing on verses 12 and 13. So we're going to be talking about that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to read two verses for you, 12 and 13, and then I'll kind of explain it and then I'll turn it over to you guys to discuss. But here's what 12 and 13 say. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. But, this is verse 13, but instead encourage one another daily as long as it is called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Okay, the first thing I want us to see in this is last week, Pastor Josh talked about uh, or talked through verses 1 through 11, and that was individual responsibility for our hearts, for the hardening of our hearts. But today I titled the sermon Preventing Heart Disease. But the key and the turn in these verses is this is now corporate responsibility, which means that you and I are responsible for each other as the family of God, as the kingdom of God. And so that's why in verse 12, it's, he, set, he starts off with, see to it who? Brothers and sisters. He's talking to the collective church and not just an individual. And the phrase, see it, it really means to like, in the old King James said, take heed or take care or beware. This is a serious warning. Because among us and even inside of us, we can move and progress and go through a process where our hearts become hardened and unbelieving and sinful. And so that's the warning here. And so at first in the sermon, I talked about what that type of heart looks like. And I walked through a process that uh, looks like it usually starts with doubt. And if not dealt with, that doubt turns to fear. And if we let doubt and fear kind of germinate and grow, it then turns into pride where we walk away from God. And then eventually isolation where we turn away from God and the people of God and specifically the church, his church. And so out of these verses though, there's ways to prevent this type of heart disease. And that's through exposure and encouragement. That's what we talked about in the sermon. So exposure is we need exposure. We all have weaknesses and failures and sin and kind of our shadow side. And this can be painful, but it could be powerful for growth and especially to prevent heart disease inside of us, that spiritual heart disease we talked about. And so we need exposure. And then the second thing we need is encouragement. Um, the, in the Greek, when it talks about encourage one another, it's not just how you and I use that word. Like we, I'll encourage you like good job today. But there's a serious nature, a serious tone to uh, the words in the Greek that's used there that really means to like bring in closely and to encourage one another to take serious our Christianity. We should not be pedestrian of about our Christianity and our Christian walk. And so we need the exposure and we need the, um, the encouragement in our lives and with each other. We are the church. We are God's church, and we are to be the church with one another. And so we talk through that process. And so there's some questions now that your house church leader will uh, go over, and I want you guys to discuss it, be vulnerable, be honest, but I'll turn it over to them.